we, in 1984, opened, and we had uh, one concept in mind, but every year we uh, uh, tried to uh, change and grow and getting to know our customers, getting to know the kinds of uh, things that they were asking for and looking for. We've uh, made Paisano's exactly the restaurant that we, as diners, would want to go to if we were going out seeking uh, Italian food. Well, we chose the, the name Paisano's for the restaurant because we wanted a name to emulate family and kinship, and the name Paisano's uh, fits us very well. We were looking for an authentic chef, someone who could give authenticity to what we were trying to do, and that uh, is that we were trying to create a menu that was not your typical red sauce. We were looking for authentic dishes uh, that could be found in the Italian countryside. When we met Isabella and found out her roots from northern Italy, a small town, and when we spoke to her about the kind of dishes that she grew up eating and the kind of dishes she loved making, we knew we had the, the right person. When I'm here, like I'm here sitting in this room with the old table and the old chair, that is like being in grandma's house to me. So definitely I do get that feeling. Uh, and I think that's why people like to come here too, because they have the warmth, you know, from the place, I think that uh, they get the feeling from the people they own the restaurant, you know, Mike and Bridget, and from the staff too. So that is uh, definitely a key point. And I have to say, uh, I would probably, you know, move this place in Italy and it would definitely um, fit with no problem. Isabella isn't your typical chef. She likes to cook very simply. She likes to get the freshest and the most wonderful uh, ingredients and from that palate uh, starts and creates something very slow, very wonderful and very flavorful. It's almost amazing what happens, but she creates from the simplest ingredients the most wonderful dishes. That's how I do the menu here, that's why we like to do it seasonally. I try to bring whatever I absorbed when I was a little kid, you know, eating the rabbit in springtime, eating duck when it's fall, you know, having the fresh greens when it's springtime, a lot of uh, grilling or uh, fresh vegetables when it's summertime, the stew, the baking of the cake when it's winter, you know, you got the cold nights out there or having a hot wine drink that my grandma used to make that was very good. So definitely I have memories of uh, seasonal items. I mean, I'm very proud that, you know, in the last uh, two, three years, people in this area really now start to know about Paisano, you know, and, uh, you know, they say that it's one of the best restaurants in town. I mean, I hope to be the best of all, you know, but you gotta still to work hard for that. Again, I was uh, very lucky. Uh, to come to Paisano, I uh, was very lucky to find somebody that let me express myself. All the things that she has brought to our restaurant, that creative touch, those country dishes, the, that kind of feel, emulates not just through the menu, but through the restaurant, the decor, and everything that we do, everything that we represent. We hope to achieve for the customer a feeling of both Italy when you walk into our restaurant, but also comfort and family. I think that starts right when you walk in the door with our fireplace and our sofas and our easy chairs, hopefully a smiling staff member to escort you to the table. Our customers ask a lot of questions, and we're only as good 
as our staff can describe our food. We uh, have our dining room staff before they ever get on the floor fully aware of what's in our kitchen and what it's capable of and where these ingredients are from, what they taste like, and how they're used in not just that one particular menu item, but in a variety of things in our kitchen. Our restaurant is uh, designed to be an Italian roadhouse, maybe something that you'd find uh, in the Italian countryside when you pulled in, and there the family who prepares the food and serves the food welcomes you and talks about their restaurant and talks about what uh, you're going to have and makes you feel good and comfortable and that endearing feeling makes you want to come back time and time again. Wine is a big part of uh, dining at Paisano's. Just like in Italy, wine completes the meal, wine also complements every meal at Paisano's. We have an all-Italian wine list, and we're very proud of it. It wins two or three national awards every year. We get a sample of their wines, we taste the wines, our chef invents regional foods from that person's region of Italy. We make a menu surrounding their wines, we invite our customer base in. We fill the room with music and decor and wine and energy, and it's a magnificent evening. Customers ask all the time, where do you find these wines? And that gives us the opportunity to tell them, well, we were just at that person's vineyard in Italy. We found that wine, we enjoyed it there, and we had to bring it back home to you. It's a wonderful thing. People are discovering Italy right through our doors. We hope that we are bringing the complete Italian experience to our customer. These people want to know more and more and more about Italian products, foods, and wines. When we take trips to Italy, my wife and I actually go with our customers. And for 10 days of living, eating, drinking, laughing in the Italian countryside, we become more than just customer and restaurateur. We become good friends. We want to give you the complete Italian experience from eating and drinking authentic Italian products to learning the Italian language to experience the winemakers as they uh, come to our restaurant from Italy and going with us over to Italy to see firsthand the goodness of Italian food and wine which again emulates our whole concept from the very start. Paisanos, good friends, food, wine, laughter, we couldn't live any better.